Hello again and welcome to another video of Gutenberg block development series. Okay guys, in today's video we are going to install VS Code and setting it up and see what we need in order to develop a Gutenberg block. So let's get it started and see what we are going to do. So I am sure that you already have VS Code installed on your system. So let's skip ahead and close this one. If you don't have VS Code, please download and install it. It's really simple and straightforward. So after doing that, we are going to open our Visual Studio Code or VS Code. And if your VS Code doesn't look as mine, don't worry. We are going to look yours as mine really easy so in here you can find a, a setting so i'm going to open settings and in here you can see uh, you can change pretty much anything you want you can change font you can change theme you can change icons colors anything you don't like about the default settings of uh, VS Code. So, for example, here you can change the font. I already did. And let's, uh, if you uh, if you see here, we can edit the settings from setting.json. I'm going to click on this, and this is my uh, default settings. But before we are going to do that, let's get started with extension. So let's open up our a notion page and see what we are gonna do so uh, i'm gonna let uh, write this down below at the comment uh, below at the description part and you can find all of this in order to install them so let's skip ahead and see uh, if you click here you will open up the extension part of vs code which is really powerful and you can pretty much add anything you want in into this uh, editor so uh, i'm going to use uh, auto rename tag I, i'm not gonna tell you guys what which why we are need this because if i'm gonna explain all of that the video will be too long and just if you want to if you want to know why we are going to use this you can uh, simply read the details and see what will do this extension what's gonna what's are gonna do for us so uh, auto rename tag is one of the extension that we are gonna use in this series after that we are going to use community material tem which we are th this color are coming this color is coming from this community material tem after that, we are using .env extension and we are using ES7 React Redux React Native Snippet. After that, we are using HTML CSS support extension. Live server, which I'm, I already have it, but we don't need it for this particular uh, use case. And after that, material icon Tim. After that, material Tim. And this is an extension for PHP. You should install this. It will really help us. After that, we are going to install Prettier code formatter. And I guess pretty much it, except these two, WordPress Gutenberg uh, component list and WordPress snippets. Okay, after installing all of these, you... Uh, can configure all of this uh, extension by the following setting file that I'm gonna provide you here. Let's close up all of this. All right, all right. So this is the file that are uh, that we are going to use. So if I uh, press Command I and Command X in order to cut all of the data 
and if I press command S in order to save this let's see what will happen you see all of the settings came back to the original or to default settings of the VS code so with with just this file you can change anything from VS code for example if I press command save again Control s again it will come back to the uh, custom setting that I wanna have okay so after that uh, I'm gonna uh, put this down into the description in order to you guys be able to use it I'm using a uh, consolas font this is a great font in order to have this beautiful font style in your um, VS code and after that I'm gonna put this setting or maybe I will share it in a file in the description that you can use for your own all right after this you should be able to follow up the other videos in order to develop a custom Gutenberg block so I will see you on the next video